Hey guys, and thanks for clicking on the video. I'm Zimic playing some Decidueye in the bottom lane. We're running these items and these emblems. Full cooldown reduction. We're going to try to get lots of spirit shackles off. Our Jigglypuff is going on an adventure. Uh, hopefully to steal the enemy team's jungle. Um, or, or our mod shop's jungle. One or the other. It's it's really a toss-up. You know what? I would I would say that both of them are pretty big priorities. How did I not get that? I, I could have sworn that leafage hit. Anyways, their Meryl is doing the thing. And we're going to keep on attacking it. Jigglypuff, I think we could have gotten it had you kept it, keep on attacking it. I'm still stacked up on my auto attacks. Going to grab that Ndidi. Going to have to eject away from the Meryl. We're gonna have, we want to stack up our attack weight. It's very difficult on this Pokemon. We're meant to be from uh, long range, and you have to really defeat your opponents in order to, to bank. Our Modchamp ganked us first, even though our Jigglypuff stole his um, stole his farm. That's actually very generous of him. Please, just kill him. Thank you. And there's one stack. That's big. Oh, uh, wait. No, I... Uh, I didn't think I picked up the orb, but I did. Oh, wait. I have two. There's three stacks. Oh, I am so dead here. Unless Wigglytuff's got me, right? Right, right Wigglytuff? All right, that, that was a really good trade for us. I don't know how exactly that worked out, but it did. I kept my uh, my auto attacks stacked up quite a lot there. You know what? If this, like, I wouldn't even be mad if that mod joke took our Ndidi. He ganked us after the Wigglytuff stole some of his farm or siphoned off some of his farm. I don't know if it actually confirmed anything or not. Cool. I got the Ndidi. I don't know how. I, I thought my auto attack didn't go off, and I thought my leafage was late. Obviously, one of those things was wrong. I just don't know which one. Yeah, all right. Uh, we need to make it to seven. We don't have any of our upgraded moves until we're already Decidueye, and it increases our power by quite a lot. Gonna yoink that Swablu really quick. There's not a whole lot that he did there. Um, the Wigglytuff acts as like kind of a pseudo tank, in, especially in the early game. So it's really nice that he can take a hit because I certainly cannot. I have three attack weight stacks still. I want more than that. And I know that I need to be patient, but it's hard. It is so difficult. And it doesn't make it easier whenever I get more. I'm at 20 now. That, that's a, quite a lot. N anybody in there? No. I do have Spirit Shackle now. And hopefully all of my ability cool, uh, ability cooldown, it will pay off for that. Got the Indeedee. I don't know if I hit the Azumarill. I might have. Right. The Reggies are spawned in. I want to grab this Ndidi because I get sp yeah, Shadow Sneak when I do. Found the Azumarill. Aw, oh, not able to steal the Ndidi. Oh, so close. Can I get a stack here? Yes, I can. And that broke his pad. He has nowhere to hide. How did that miss? Unbelievable. Uh, please don't miss. Yas, we hit it. We hit it. Okay, hi, Hoopa. All right, he stopped. In, he stopped the engage. We can grab this. I think, probably. I have my unite move. Wigglytuff already used its unite move. Mm-hmm. The Sidious Unite move is actually really bad to try to confirm things when uh, when they can body block you. But what a play there! Grabbed the grabbed the Reggie, got the double kill. Nice. It's just you, you have to kill. It, it does not do piercing damage except for the like the very final hit does. I, I'm I'm pretty sure. But we have four stacks um, on our attack weights. We got the Reggie buff. We are pretty high level, all things considered. 10 at 5 minutes is really good for a laner. Um, let's see. What else? 
going to avoid that. Oh, that's kind of important. I hit two things there. I think I got the Altaria and the Squall Blue. Shadow sneaks on a reduced cooldown as well, which is really nice. Unfortunately, did I get the, the Gengar? He's right here. How did that miss? Unbelievable. He, had, he held that Dream Eater for so long. All he had to do was click the button. Is he invulnerable when he's invisible? I only thought he was invisible. I could have sworn that he didn't have enough time to move away from the Spirit Shackle while using his Unite move. But I am not a, a very experienced Gengar player either. So that might be wrong. I want these birds. It's always a tug of war of me between farming and uh, stacking up the attack weight. And they don't go together. So here we have the big, the big conundrum for our team is that we don't really have a tank. We have kind of a pseudo tank. I need to take those orbs so that they don't. If that Aleki ends up crashing, I do not want them to have an extra 40 orbs. Now it's going to be very difficult for me to get my attack weight stacks, though. Let's see. Oh, I have my Unite move. This is the last fight before using it. If they step up on this Aleki, I'll, I'll use my Unite move. If not, the Pikachu needs my help. So... I do have Unite Amplifier. I can use it if I use it like in the next three seconds. I I don't know. We'll use it on this Hoopa. Well, I got a kill with it, so I'm not super wasted. But I have my Unite Amplifier. We'll see if I can get it in time. I don't think I'm getting the rest of the attack weight stacks. I, I, it's, just, it's just not something I see happening. Not in the immediate time. Grab these Altarias. If I can get some stacks, that'll help. Cool, uh, it'll help with my Unite cooldown as well. They're all in the middle there. Did they leave anybody to guard the sides? Gengar's coming. Hit him and the Altaria. Two for one deal. I hit my 13. That'll be big. I only got 68 on my attack on my Unite move. Let's see if I can get this cooldown reduction. I'm running max cooldown reduction. May as well have it in time for the Ray fight. The final hmm. Alright, they tried to dive me there. I still had my eject button and I hit the Gengar with a, sh a Spirit Shackle. While aiming for the Glaceon for a two for one deal. There's two picks. Oh, I missed the Azumarill. How? That should be a win, though. That was a really good Rayquaza fight we had. I didn't even need my Unite move. Oops. Alright. We're just going to go and get more cooldown reduction here. Cancel it early. There's not anything to hit. Because you can do that. You can cancel it early if you hit uh, ZL again. And the Machamp and I in critical banking position. Double hit. What a snipe. Ah! It, it fires backwards sometimes. I don't quite understand. I'm making a really conscious effort to make sure I'm holding in this controls, uh, the, yeah, the C stick. And it's not mattering a whole lot. It, it still goes off the rails anyways. Got him. Quad kill. I don't even know who all I killed. But I got four of them. Nope. Pikachu with the peel. Make them choose. We're playing ring around the rosy here. He, he, they got both of us. Oh, I was really hoping... The Pikachu tried to save me, and I was really trying to return the favor. Because that's what teammates do. We're not really in any danger of losing, so that's alright. Are they going to even do a push? Oh, up here, maybe? 
Good Espeon Unite, good Espeon Unite. And over here, we have the Wigglytuff holding on the fort against the Trevenant. I like that Wigglytuff. Despite uh, taking some of the jungle XP at the beginning, he really helps me tank at the beginning when I was just a little Rowlet. But the score should be in our favor here, if I had to guess. 597. Uh... Espeon got the MVP, not us. We banked the same. I had 12 kills, 4 assists. I had 5 kills, 12 assists. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I put more emphasis on kills, but that might just be me. I did 79,000 and it did 91. Okay, so there there was a damage discrepancy. 79,000 is not bad, especially because they did not have... Well, I guess they did have the Trevenant. I was going to say they didn't have a true tank to take it all, but their Trevenant was there. He's a difficult one to hit with Spirit Shackle, though. He's um He dashes a lot with... Uh, no, it's not, it's not glass, Grassy Glide, Horn Leech. With Horn Leech. I called it Grassy Glide in a different video. Nobody corrected me on it, but I knew. Anyways, that was a pretty good round for Decidueye there. I enjoy that Pokemon a whole lot. And now that I own it, I can take it into ranked. So I will be doing some more videos with it. We'll just give everybody a good job. I don't know. They gave us a good win. I will see all of you guys next time. Like I said before, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Until tomorrow, everyone. Bye.